traveling from Central Europe to Scandinavia will soon be far easier than it is. Guess what? It will take only seven minutes by train and 10 minutes by car. Incredibly awesome, right? With this massive undersea tunnel, your journey begins on either the subway or the expressway. You then go underneath the Baltic Sea, approximately 40 meters deep, before coming out at the other end, 11 miles away. Well, all thanks go to the Danish and German governments, who together have committed a whopping $12.6 billion to constructing this massive undersea tunnel. Work began in 2020, and upon its completion in 2029, it will be the longest immersed road and rail tunnel in the world. Officially known as the Feymarn Belt Fixed Link, this tunnel is built across the Feymarn Belt and features two double-lane motorways and two electrified rail tracks. Well, give us a few minutes of your time as we take you on a journey through one of the most daring infrastructure projects in Europe. You might be tempted to ask just how much this tunnel means to Europe, especially the two countries involved. But here's the catch. The Feymarn Belt Fixed Link will improve the transport corridor between Central Europe and Scandinavia, slashing travel time from four hours to just under 10 minutes. Well, that is enough reason to laud the two governments that have taken it upon themselves to bear the burdens of this mega project. Up until the very moment this video was made, the only route between the two countries was through ferries. These ferries were situated in the cities of Rødby in Denmark and Puttgarden in Germany, two small ports with millions of passengers passing through them every year. And with the massive traffic comes the problem of long queues and delays. On average, traveling from Copenhagen to Hamburg usually takes four to five hours by train. However, all the bottlenecks associated with using the ferries will end in 2029 because of the Feymarn Belt Tunnel. When the tunnel will be completed, the same journey will take two and a half hours. So basically, we have an impressive two-hour reduction in travel time between the two countries. Today, a lot of people fly between the two cities, but in the future, it will be better to just take the train. Meanwhile, for those using the expressway, their journey will be shortened by an hour from what it is today, taking into account the time saved from lining up for the ferry. Prospective car travelers would no doubt be buzzing with excitement at the news. But besides the benefits to passenger trains and cars, the tunnel will also have a positive impact on freight trucks and trains as it will create a land route between Sweden and Central Europe that will be 160 kilometers shorter than it is today. At the moment, traffic between the Scandinavian peninsula and Germany via Denmark can either take the ferry across the Femarn Belt or a longer route via bridges between the islands of Zeeland, Funen, and the Jutland Peninsula. Well, there is absolutely no doubt that the benefits of this tunnel cannot be overemphasized. But before the construction phase of the project, as expected, there was a period of planning. The project dates back to 2008 when Germany and Denmark signed a treaty to build the tunnel. It then took over a decade for the necessary legislation to be passed by both countries and for geotechnical and environmental impact studies to be carried out. However, while the process was completed smoothly in Denmark, the case was different in Germany, as a number of organizations appealed against the approval of the project over claims of unfair competition or environmental and noise concerns. Fortunately, a federal court in Germany dismissed these complaints in November 2020. The ruling came with a set of conditions, which we kind of expected and we were prepared for, on how we monitor the environment while we are constructing, on things like noise and sediment spills, I believe that we really need to make sure that the impact on the environment is as little as possible," said Henrik Vincentsen, the CEO of Femern AS. By the spring of 2020, Femern Belt Contractors FBC, consisting of the Dutch construction companies Boskalis and Van Oord, had already begun construction of the working harbor at Rugby. The harbor will be used for shipping in the large quantities of building materials to be used for the construction 
as well as to tow the finished tunnel elements out to the Faymarn belt. In 2021, the FBC began the construction of another working harbor, this time at Puttgarden on the German side, and the excavation of the tunnel gutter for the tunnel elements under the seabed in the Femarn belt. On the completion of the temporary harbor on the Danish site, several phases of the project began, including the digging of the actual trench that will host the tunnel, as well as the construction of the factory that will build the tunnel sections. This factory at Rudby will be used for the manufacturing of 89 steel-reinforced concrete elements and the tunnel portal on low land. Out of the 89 tunnel elements, 79 are standard elements and the remaining 10 are special elements. The special elements will have a special basement for machinery, which will make the construction process and maintenance of the finished tunnel easier. The construction of the factory began in the summer of 2021 and was completed in August 2023, with a total of six production lines. The first tunnel element was finished in December 2023 and is expected to be immersed in the Faymarn belt in 2024 in the special tunnel trench. Production of the tunnel elements will continue until 2027, when the final tunnel element for the Faymarn belt link is expected to be ready. Outside the factory, three immense basins have been filled with water. They form the link between the factory and the work harbor, from where the elements are shipped out. Large gates ensure that the dry dock and basins can be filled with water and emptied as needed, allowing the elements to float from the factory to the work harbor and further out into the Femarn belt. Each section will be 217 meters long, which is roughly half the length of the world's largest container ship at 42 meters wide and 9 meters tall. Weighing in at 73,000 metric tons each, they will be as heavy as more than 13,000 elephants. Just recently, in December 2023, German firm Deutsche Bahn DB, started construction of a railway line on the island of Faymarn, with the first permanent structures having been cast. In the future, trains will travel here at speeds of up to 200 km per hour in the direction of Denmark. In another development, Danish rail infrastructure manager Bana Danmark is upgrading and modernizing the Ringsted Femarn Railway, an approximately 120 km railway line between Ringsted and Rudby. This is one of the biggest infrastructure projects in Denmark's history, which, together with the tunnel, greatly improves connectivity. Several existing stations and platforms have been modified with new access roads, lifts, and road infrastructure. To accommodate the traction power supply and the additional tracks, more than 100 bridges and roads will be modified. The railway line will also be electrified with a new traction power supply, and a brand new signaling system has been launched between Mogenstrup and Nukobing Falster. Up to 2,500 people have been employed on the construction project, although the project has been impacted by global supply chain woes. The supply chain is a challenge at the moment because the price of steel and other raw materials has increased. We do get the materials we need, but it's difficult, and our contractors have had to increase the number of suppliers to make sure they can get what they need. That's one of the things that we're really watching right now, because a steady supply of raw materials is crucial," says Henrik Vincentsen, the CEO of Femern AS. But while some environmental groups expressed concerns about the impact of the tunnel on porpoises in the Faymarn belt, Michael Leuvendal Kruse of the Danish Society for Nature Conservation thinks the project will have environmental benefits. As part of the Femarn belt tunnel, new natural areas and stone reefs on the Danish and German sides will be created. Nature needs space, and there will be more space for nature as a result. But the biggest advantage will be the benefit to the climate. Faster passage of the belt will make trains a strong challenger for air traffic, and cargo on electric trains is by far the best solution for the environment. And that's all for today's episode. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more.